Typically, the rights of a child's biological parents must be terminated before the child may be adopted. An exception to this rule, known as second parent adoption, permits co-parents to adopt their partner's biological child without terminating the partner's parental rights. Historically, many states limited this exception to couples who were legally married. This creates barriers for unmarried couples, denying legal recognition of their family status and depriving non-biological parents of any parental rights. In the matter of Jacob, tasked the New York Court of Appeals with reconciling the language of New York's adoption statute with its stated purpose of promoting children's best interests. Three years after Stephen T.K. began living with his girlfriend, Roseanne M.A., and her son Jacob, Stephen and Roseanne filed a joint petition for Stephen to adopt Jacob. In a separate case, G.M. and P.I., a lesbian couple who had lived together for 19 years, decided they wanted to raise a child together. P.I. was artificially inseminated by an anonymous donor and gave birth to a daughter, Dana. After raising Dana together for three years, P.I. supported G.M.'s petition to adopt Dana so that G.M. and P.I. would both have full legal standing as Dana's parents. The family court denied both petitions. The court ruled that Stephen and G.M. lacked standing to adopt because they weren't married to Jacob and Dana's biological mothers. The appellate division affirmed, stating that New York law didn't permit Jacob or Dana to be adopted unless their biological mother's rights were terminated. On appeal, the New York Court of Appeals consolidated the two cases.